By the time the plagues were coming to a close in Parashat, Bra Parashat Bo, we see the Egyptians turning on Pharaoh and even looking to Moshe as a hero. How can that be? It seems crazy that the person who's oppressing them, now causing all this misfortune to come upon them, is seen as a, as a hero. But it makes sense. They're starting to wake up and they're starting to see the difference of their leader who is destroying the land of Egypt time and time again. And they see Moses and they see the Jewish people who are acting morally throughout this entire situation. During the plague of darkness, no one killed anybody. And they didn't steal any of the belongings, even though the Jews had free reign and the darkness didn't apply to them. They could see as if it was the light of day. Think of it more of a blindness plague than, more, than a plague of complete nighttime darkness. The Jews could steal whatever they want and they didn't. And therefore, the Egyptians looked at all of the Jews with esteem. They saw the way that they were coming together and they saw themselves as the oppressors. They saw themselves as wrong. We see this all the time in villain, villainous movies, heroes versus the villains. We see Scar's hyenas turn against him at the end of the movie. We see in The Incredibles, Mirage turn against Syndrome. We see in real life, Hitler's own soldiers by the end of the army turning against him even. We see Stalin's Stalin losing the respect of his people, Mao Zedong turn, losing the respect of his people, Idi Amin, all of the villains eventually when their ideas are no longer working, the people turn against them because they see that in real life, the person they were looking up to the whole time was doing it and using them as pawns for his own selfish interest. What we see in contrast is the hero. The hero is doing everything for the sake of, the, of who he's trying to liberate and the people he's trying to free. Moses the leader, the greatest leader of them all, is doing it for the sake of increasing freedom among his subjects, giving them control, while Pharaoh is trying to increase and hold on to his control over his people, over his slaves, and over his kingdom, most importantly, over his legacy. The classic good guy, bad guy situation begins and arises when two people care overwhelmingly about the same thing. The hero has overcome the selfish urge and has become and has achieved life's critical transformation of living for others and sharing, while the villain grabs even tighter to his selfish inclination and becomes an evil mastermind, eventually leading to his own destruction. The key to adventure on this level is to know that in an adventure, our goal is to make that life transformation, to become a giver, to see beyond our selfish desires and our selfish needs, and to give and build those around us, to be leaders and to be contributors into society. First of all, giving, to our, giving ourselves the ability to be part of that society and letting go of the selfish inclination that eventually leads to nothing but destruction. Shabbat Shalom.